Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. So it's been a hot minute since I traveled outside the States and same with my partner. Like we both just have been having the itch to just travel outside of the country and just have like a completely different landscape. And we decided for our first travel experience together in Thailand. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> And I had been to Thailand before about like four years ago and I loved it. So we both decided that's the spot for us to be in the summer because it's affordable and people over there are incredibly friendly. And the country overall is just beautiful culturally and the weather because you know me i'm a tropical girl i'm a coconut girl i thrive in heat. Humid heat. It feels so good on my skin and I just love it. We're going to be there for about a month so we can work, play, and just overall get that sense of freedom, you know? So we are very excited to experience this travel time together. So in this pack and prepping video, I'm gonna show y'all what I still need to do, what I need to pack. I also have to go shopping. I also gotta take some passport pictures and get that printed out because I'm gonna get a international driver's license. Yep, you heard that right. This bitch is gonna be riding on a Vespa on the beach in Phuket. <laughs> So yeah, I have to get that done. Then let's see what else, what else, what else. I'm probably gonna do my nails. Ah. So first thing, I'm gonna take my own passport pictures and then go get that printed out at Staples. Three hours later. So I just got done taking my passport pictures and they came out beautiful. I was so surprised. I used my iPhone so I couldn't really like record myself taking my own pictures. <laughs> so yeah, I just did that real quick. And then I selected my favorite photo and added that into Photoshop and then used their new like AI background removal and it works magically. It just instantly removes the background. So I got that on a file and now I'm gonna go take it to Staples and then also I'm gonna go to Target. So we're gonna go shop too. Let's go! So I'm trying to find Kula sunscreen but I don't know, I can't seem to find it. Maybe it's in the sunscreen section. I rarely come here, so I really don't know. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I just got back in the car. I just love Target because they rarely had the things that I needed. Could only get my vegan mayo, my clean freak dry shampoo, and then just like one travel bottle. So I'm probably just gonna end up going to Walmart because they also have a printing service and hopefully they have like the other travel necessities that I need. So on to Walmart. I swear if the fucking port damages my hard drive, I would be so mad. No joke. Okay, so I just realized it's gonna take one hour to print. So I guess I'm just going to get the rest of my shit. Hopefully it'll be done by the time I get everything. Child in me is screaming right now to get this, but I can't because I'm almost 30. So oh, I'm about to flip out. They don't have deep brown here. Bruh. I guess that's like a popular color and everyone buys it out or it's discontinued, I don't know, but that's the color I use, so what the heck? Fine, we'll do Wet n Wild then. Okay, well, at least Wet n Wild's coming in clutch. So they do have the brown pencil, and this is in the color Deep Brown. So hopefully this could be a dupe for the e.l.f. one. Ah! One hour later! Oh my god, y'all, I just got my photos. It looks like a fucking model headshot. I did so good when it comes to like my makeup and like how I pose and everything. Yes! Like what? Look at that! So good! Oh my 
my god my hair color looks a little darker but i think that's fine usually my hair is lighter brown if it's in the sunlight but indoors it's a little darker now i can get my international driver's license okay so now i got all that stuff done i'm gonna now go into my notion and then just go through my pack and prep checklist that i worked on for about like a week now i'm actually gonna show y'all how i do my notion template so this is the main shebang for our thailand itinerary and i am very <laughs> strategic and meticulous when it comes to this kind of stuff and then so here is this part where things to pack i have everything listed here so i'm just gonna grab those and then organize it and then put it in my bag all right so i decided to film the bathroom for this segment mostly the things i'm gonna be packing is like skincare and makeup so i'm gonna get to that here shortly but i first wanted to show y'all the luggage that i'm gonna be taking i'm only gonna be taking one bag you heard it one freaking bag for a whole month's trip to thailand you may be thinking i'm crazy because i am <laughs> so this is the bag that i'm gonna be taking i got this backpack off of amazon and i got this because i was definitely due for an update on my backpack slash like travel bag because my old backpack i had was something i used back in college times so I definitely needed to upgrade and give myself a little treat, you know? But yeah, so first I just wanted to show you guys how versatile and utilitarian this backpack is. So it has like a shit ton of pockets. So in here, I usually like put like my notebook in here. And then just like the details here, another pocket that opens up and another one down here. And it obviously has like a little holder for your drinks. What's cool about this backpack, it is carry-on size approved. The dimensions of this bag would fit into measurement holders at the airport so you can like see if your bag's gonna like fit in the carry-on but this will fit so it has a handle at the top and then also like on the side if you have to carry it kind of like a briefcase and if you want to carry it by hand you can also put the straps inside of the backpack so yeah you would unclasp the straps and then stuff it in and then just zip it up and that's it also if you're having limited space and storing things this bag can also squeeze in and collapse its volume Clip on the side clips and then just tighten it up and, like squeeze in the bag I literally feel like one of those flight attendants on the flight before they take off and instructing the people how to do their seatbelts. Would everyone please direct their attention to the flight attendant? Now going to demonstrate the simple action of putting two straps together as if Okay, there we go. And I think this bag is about like 40 liters storage capacity. It's super spacious enough for me to store almost about like five outfit items in here. And this is my traveling makeup bag. It has a cute checker design on it and it's vegan faux leather. So I'm just gonna start packing like my skincare and my makeup. So this is my little section right here. <laughs> and I have a lot of stuff. So I'm pretty much just gonna get the things that I do every day. Eyelash, my brows, little razor, lip stuff. And I'm definitely gonna bring my e.l.f. camo concealer and maybe my milk flex stick i'm not sure also travel size dry shampoo and i'm deciding whether or not if i should bring foundation because it's gonna be so freaking hot and humid i feel like this is just gonna like melt off my skin i'll probably think about it definitely gonna bring sunscreen moisturizer eye cream some niacinamide vitamin c and then some nighttime lip mask and then i also found other travel size sunscreen um this looks old. This is maybe a little questionable. This is not mine. This is probably my partner's. And then I want to bring some AHA, BHA toner. I have to put this in the travel size bottle that I bought today. And then I need to do the same thing for my cleansers and my shampoo and my conditioner. And definitely this is a must 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 pimple patches i tend to break out very easily when i'm traveling because it's a high stress activity and your girls stress out the hormones get imbalanced and whatnot and i just break out these are so cute they're little cat patches and they come in different little designs I got this because I actually have a cat named Bruno and she looks like that one right there. And I've been missing her a lot recently, so I got these and I can put her on my face and take her wherever I go. And then 
then the next thing on my list is some body wipes. Let's see. Oh yeah, I have I have some Summer's Eve fragrance-free wipes. So because I know traveling 20 plus hours, you're gonna be hella stinky, dirty, and sweaty. So these come in clutch. You just wipe down your body. So I will pack some of that. Oh, and then I also put down electrolyte packets. It's in the kitchen, so I'm gonna go get that. 10 seconds later. So I got that. These come in clutch as well when you're traveling. Like liquid ivy because it's vegan. And the white peach is my favorite flavor. But definitely, it is no joke. You have to stay hydrated when you're flying. In the cabin, the air system is 100% controlled. And there's really like no humidity inside the plane. Probably like 10 to 20% humidity range. So definitely chug a bunch of water, add electrolytes to it, drink orange juice, anything that has a lot of electrolytes and minerals. And I also went to a triple A office and I got my international driver's license. But yeah, it was a really easy process. You have to fill out their application, pay $20, and have two passport photos. So one they keep and then the other one they put on your license. Yes, bitch. I talked to my mom the other day and I showed her this and she just started busting out laughing, telling me that I look like freaking Nicki Minaj. Um, chill. I take that as a compliment. But yeah, like, no, I don't. I mean, maybe like the way I had my hair and like my makeup done, it just came out snatched. Everything was snatched. My eyebrow, my lips, I did pretty damn good. Like this looks pretty professional. So I was happy the way that it turned out. Okay, so now I just have to pack important documents. So I got my passport, my COVID vaccine card in case they ask me when's the last time I got vaccinated. And just in case I also carry a copy of like all of my immunization record. And I also have my international driver's license that I just showed you guys. And on top of that, I'm also gonna bring my actual driver's license because in order for you to arrive in a different country, you have to have um, a valid driver's license alongside with your international driver's license. I got credit card, debit card, and then I also did this ahead of time. So if you guys didn't know, you can go to your bank and ask for a currency exchange. So I went to my bank and I got my money exchanged for Thai bot and Japanese yen. So I got 18,000 yen, which is around like 140-ish dollars and then 6,200 baht, which is almost like $200 worth. So I'm hoping this cash alone will cover food and other necessary items while we're there. And I got yen because we're gonna be having this long ass layover in Tokyo, like 12 hour layover. So we're actually pretty excited for that too. We're gonna hit the ramen shops probably like in Shibuya or someplace. And it's gonna be at nighttime. So hopefully if we're not tired, we can do some nightlife too. So I'm actually getting pretty hungry. It's almost eight o'clock and I still don't know what to make for dinner. So I should probably figure that out now. Okay, so I finally made some dinner and it is a very random dish. We made some couscous, some vegan impossible meat, and then a Caesar salad. And I don't know why, but for the past couple of months, I've been obsessed eating Caesar salad. Like I found this recipe dressing online and ever since I tried it the first time, oh my God, I could not stop. Like I probably eat this like three times a week now. Like it's that good. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna like finish packing tomorrow because it's already like 9 p.m. And I'm getting pretty tired. Don't look at my bed. It is an absolute disaster. It looks like a freaking tornado hit this room. Hello again. It's the next day and we're back here on the floor of my bathroom. Currently it's 2 p.m. And today I just haven't been really feeling that productive. Like, Yeah, so I'm pretty much gonna get to packing my clothing now. Um, I have everything just laid out here so I can kind of show you guys what I'm gonna pack in my one carry-on. Obviously, I'm gonna bring a pair of running shoes because um, I plan to hit the gym. Next is sandals. So these are my poly Hawaiian sandals. I've had these for years. My other shoes I'm gonna bring is my zero shoes. We're also planning to go hiking and like maybe go to the waterfall. So it's perfect because I can get this wet, but at the same time, like have like really good grip on like the rocks. I don't slide off, fall down and break my neck. And I'm also gonna bring two of these like scarf cover-ups. I must use them as sarongs. Pretty sure when we're gonna tour around, we're probably gonna go to like the temples. Over there in Thailand, for women, you have to be covered up. You can't be showing your shoulders or skin or your legs. But yeah, it's a bonus thing and totally respect it. And then I said I'm gonna hit the gym earlier, so I'm gonna bring one gym outfit. And also, you can't forget the keys. So I've had this for a very long time too. This is the only bikini set that I pretty much wear for the past seven years. And then for the tops, I'm gonna bring like this green crop top and I'm gonna bring my white parachute pants. And then I think I might also pack this tank top too. I think wearing all white is a nice look for the summertime. It kind of makes you look like you're in a 1990s Britney Spears music video. So I have to definitely do that. I have my Sublime Distress t-shirt, which I love so freaking much. I'm also gonna bring this black onesie. Lizzy, Lizzy, Lizzy. And then I have this booty short I got from the store. So I'm probably just gonna wear this like lounging around in like the condo or something.
And then for the airport fit, yeah, I have like this brown like leisure pants I also got from the thrift store. And then of course I'm gonna bring a sweater with it. Yeah, this will definitely keep me warm on the plane if it gets a little bit too chilly. Actually, I am gonna bring PJs too. I have this really cute beige tank top that I got from the thrift store as well. It's so cute. It's soft and I just love how it feels on my skin when I'm like tucked away in bed. But that and I also have my recently thrifted pink pajama pants as well. Lastly, for like the accessories, I am gonna bring a fanny pack and then I'm also gonna bring like my satchel purse so I can have a somewhat coordinated look of an outfit. Otherwise, if I use this fanny pack every single day, I'm gonna look like a goddamn tourist. And I am a tourist, but still, I wanna look like I'm from Bangkok. Okay, hello, hello. This is actually the next day. I got too busy yesterday taking care of a bunch of other things for the trip. So now I'm finally going to do my nails. For my nail inspo, I wanna do something a lot. Hello, I see you. Would you like to come in? <laughs> He's just poking his head. Come in here, don't be scared. <laughs> but yeah, I saw a couple of ideas on Pinterest and I'm really digging the mermaid core vibe right now because it's like the summer and like Little Mermaid came out, which I have not yet seen, but I will. So I'm gonna do something like that today. This is my nail supply box and I just have a mixture of old things and new things in here. So it's all one big conglomerate piece of crap in here okay, so this is what i'm working with right now my nails actually grew out pretty long i would say i have pretty durable nails like a tiger's claw and i could just rip somebody's eye out with these things but we're gonna make them really pretty petite and dainty and cute okay <laughs> Okay, so now I just got done only to my left hand. So usually when I do my own nails, it takes about six hours. I'm just gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna go eat dinner and then we're gonna get back to it. Okay, so I just had dinner. So now I'm gonna do my right hand. It's currently 10.45 and I finally finished my right hand. So now it's time to do the design aspect. To be honest, I'm not gonna be surprised if, if this process takes until 12 in the morning. I'm kind of anticipating that, so let's keep going. <laughs> okay, so I actually just finished my left hand and here it is. It came out so beautifully. This is actually the first time I did something really intricate like this. So here's my left side and now I'm gonna hop on to my right. And that is all for this pack and prep. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you in the next one. Bye guys.